In order to have the possibility to answer the question, what and where is the seat of divine alchemy, we have to dive deeper. A certain priceless icon was stolen from the palace of a king, and the three thieves were apprehended and sentenced to be hanged. The first two thieves were led to the gallows with their heads held low, weeping silently, and they were hanged. But the third, when he came before the hangman, he said, wait, I have a secret. The hangman stopped and said, well, well, what is this secret? Oh, said the thief, my secret is so precious, it can only be told to the king. The hangman said, ha, you think the king would be interested to hear what a convicted thief has to say? And the thief said, would you have it that this secret that could benefit all will die with me? So the hangman's interest, of course, was piqued. So he decided to go and tell the king. And so when he did, of course, the king also was curious and came down to the thief and said, well, here I am. What is this secret? Oh, said the thief, my secret is that I can turn iron, base metal, into gold. Well, tell me, said the king. Well, said the thief, if you chant a certain mantra, whilst you are squeezing the juice from a rare herb that is found in the mountains, the metal will be transformed into gold. Well, tell me the name of this herb, said the king, and I'll send my soldiers straight away to get it. Oh, said the thief, I don't know its name. I only don't know it from my sensibilities. Oh, said the king, you think I'm going to let you go off and find this herb? I know you'll just disappear if I let you free. I'll send a contingent of soldiers with you. And if you lie, then they will kill you. So the thief said, well, while we are absent, gather all of your people together and tell them to bring their metal along. And so, whilst the thief and the soldiers were off going up the mountains, all of the populace bought their pots and pans and grills to the palace gardens and waited until the return of the thief and the soldiers. Sure enough, the thief returned with a wheelbarrow full of the herb, and so it was prepared. The thief said, well, wait, before we begin, this herb has to be squeezed by someone who has never stolen. And of course, I'm a thief, so it cannot be me. Surely it will be the king who is pure enough to do so. And then he began to chant, 
and as he chanted, the chant was recognized by all the populace, and they chanted along with him. And the king took the herb and began to squeeze it over the metal, but nothing happened. And so the thief said, well, have you ever stolen anything? And with great embarrassment, the king admitted that in his youth, and he told this story. So it was announced, is there anyone amongst the population who has not stolen? And an old, old woman who was known for her largesse and her piety came up and the chanting went on and she squeezed the herb over the metal and nothing happened. So again the thief asked, are you sure you've never stolen anything? And the old woman said, oh, Yes, one day when I was in the forest, I saw the nest of a robin, and it had woven into its nest a very fine piece of lace. So I took the lace. Oh, said the thief, then you have stolen. But it was only a robin, said the old woman. And so another announcement was made. Is there anyone amongst this population who has never stolen? All who were present remained silent. Not one came forth as a pure soul who had never stolen anything. As we know from the end of this story, the thief was set free because the king realized that he could not hang one man for being a thief when all are thieves. It is the deep meaning of this story. Remembering that all aspects of all stories, all characters, represent a part of our own deep psyche. What is the deep meaning of this story for you?